SSD drive. So let's do the unboxing whether it's good or not. As you can know, the previous one I got was a used one, and I hope this is a brand new one. That's the build and everything. And this time it's brand new. Finally, they sent me a proper product. So you can see it's a one terabyte P2 crucial NVMe M.2 solid state drive. And the packaging is in perfectly fine condition. It's brand new. Way better this time. Thank you so much. I did you send me an old one last time? They sent me one more than a single go. And let me get the rid of this. And here's the final SSD. Oh my god, it's tiny, like it's as much as my sink finger size i never thought like i'm used to these big hard drives this is tiny let me just open and check whether it's brand new or not yes it's brand new you can see like there are no marks here of any use or any wear and tear so it's perfectly fine brand new Oh, it's tiny, like it's as big as my finger, and it's one terabyte. It's huge. Next, we'll bring my laptop and fit this inside the laptop. So, see you in a few seconds. So, we are back into it. So, let's get started with this. It's a complicated process, and here's our NVMe drive. You can see it. It's ready and to go inside the laptop. So let's open the laptop now. So you can see there are multiple screws here. So there are one, two, three, four screws here. Five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, and three screws in the middle. So let's get these open and then fix our NVMe drive. So we have a screwdriver set to open all of this. And I need tweezers to get these out. So we have our Swiss Army knife, the tweezers to get it out. So let's start. I would rather do this whole process myself than let anybody else touch my laptop. So. I am the one who's responsible for my laptop. And I've seen the shop just do such a shitty job with the laptops. If you're buying such a costly laptop, trust yourself to do a good job or like really find a really good shopkeeper who does the whole process right in front of your eyes. Otherwise it's not worth letting them handle your laptop. You have all four of these out. So let's start opening the screws now. This one is a screw which won't come out fully and I've seen a few videos you do not have to over tighten them so ground yourself nicely and then start the process. So, I will not be taking the screws out completely so that I know which screw goes where. be able to merge out of this normally because these screws are smaller in size and those are longer in size so let's get this whole process done as quickly as possible the best thing is to ground yourself very nicely so like there's no static electricity in your body if your body has a lot of static electricity while doing this process uh, not while doing this but once you open it then you might face a few problems so best is to ground yourself nicely and get done with the whole process and uh, once you're tightening these screws do not over tighten them i saw a dude who got a bump 
on the front side and it looks terrible. It's not something that makes you give up the laptop, but still it looks bad on the laptop. It has a plastic chassis, so that's the whole thing you can keep the weight low. Remember to open these three as well because without these you will not be able to open the laptop at all. These three were pretty easy to unscrew and remove them. Next process involves opening this up with a guitar factory. These are opening up one by one. is done so now you can see it is all done i am not taking out any screws out of it i just keep it up and place it on the side so that i can get all the screws back in the proper positions in one go and now you can look at it, how beautiful it looks we have some thermal padding on here you can see how good it looks on the inside so this is where the NVMe drive will go so let's get this done so this is the RAM you can look at it at the RAM it's an X16 RAM it's not the fastest one so you can upgrade this for sure but the rest everything is like really good in here the thermal compound and everything is there so let's fix the nvme drive and seal it back in so one screw is already here i'll just help ground it Be careful to not short any of it that is there and you have some additional heat sink to keep tape, thermal tape that will be great but I don't have any so I'll just keep So 
Not applying any force at all, just doing it gently. I've never done this before. Just one moment. I think I'm done. I'll seal this back up without creating any problems. So this is the Wi Fi card which you can upgrade. And I think that is good. It is a scary experience. Let's turn it on and see whether it works properly or not. Hopefully it all should work fine. It seems to be okay. So now you can see I've opened the disk management tool and it's certainly recognizing it as disk zero. So I'll make it as a fluid partition table. And okay. I'm not really sure whether if I Give it as a single drive or multiple drives. I just allocate it for once and it automatically recognizes it and create a new simple volume. Put the full volume in it. Okay, I won't be formatting it, we will just create another data. So, let's format the size is okay. Let's NTFS format. This and we have a new type ready to work. And the laptop works fine, so it's done. Everything's done. We, yeah, let's see it. So let's try copying some heavy files. So I have these movies with me. Let's just copy these movies. I check the properties. It's 20.4 gigabytes. Let's just copy this folder, folder from here to there. So it's a 24.5 gigabytes folder. You can see it's a 24 gigabytes folder. Let's see what are the transfer speeds. Data drive and it's here. It's software drive, so let's just copy and paste. Oh my god, love the speed like 900 megabytes per second of transfer speed from two different drives. That's crazy. That's just crazy. I love that. Love this. It's brilliant. All done. So this is my video of installing a new hard drive with the laptop and you can see it's just very easy to do and it works great.